We're going to start things off tonight with a story from Owings Mills, Maryland. A 23-year-old man, Shabazz, faces federal charges after allegedly selling hundreds of fake vaccine cards through the mail. So investigators say he promoted his business on social media with posts like, I sell proof of vaccination cards and COVID-19 vaccination card. Who wants one? 75 a pop. Dude, not very good at crime. This man told on himself repeatedly. His favorite Usher song got to be Confessions, right? So when law enforcement did search warrants at Shabazz's place, they reportedly found a bullet point list titled Things I'm Doing When I Get Out, updated. The list included getting two burner cell phones with the note, first burner is for scamming. Another bullet point stated, hire a lawyer and get tips on what not to do when getting money illegally. Clearly these bullet points don't need punchlines. They're hilarious in and of themselves. Dude was destined to get caught. I personally want to thank him for keeping such a hilariously detailed ledger. Too bad though he didn't include a bullet point for a plan a legal strategy just in case. Maybe he stashed that in a place they didn't have a warrant for. Hold on to the soap, Shabazz. All right, I chose this next story out of D.C. because it also involves something we're all living with, pandemic protocols. Two weeks after lifting D.C.'s mask mandate, Mayor Muriel Bowser has issued a mask advisory, strongly recommending people wear masks at indoor public spaces, but stopping short of legally requiring it. This follows the CDC guidance recommending that everyone wear a mask indoors if they live in an area with substantial or high transmission. And according to CDC's metrics, the district is currently seeing substantial transmission. Sounds like one of Topper's weather advisories, right? Mask advisory. No, for your health. 70% chance of COVID. Bundle up, cover your mouth and nostrils. Can we all just admit that the Omicron variant caught us all off guard? Lots of finger pointing. Should we or shouldn't we have ended the mask mandate? Nobody knew that a new variant of COVID that sounds like it was named after a transformer was on the way. You just can't advise people who have been ignoring science for almost two years now to put on masks. Not going to work, right? You've tried. You've got family. You've got friends. You know what that's all about. Advice means nothing to those who refuse to listen. They're dug in. Please, for all of us, take the mayor's advice. Wear masks indoors. We'd all like this pandemic to end eventually and if this is the way to do it man just drop the attitude and mask up i think you're going to like this next story because it's completely ridiculous it's out of giles county tennessee and i think that we all need to hear it an appeals court granted a new trial to a black man named tim gilbert after an all-white tennessee jury voted to convict him no that's not the silly part they deliberated in a room full of tributes to the confederacy really Clearly, this was the right call overturning this verdict, mainly because no one had a problem with being in this room. Any jury that's OK with deliberating the fate of a black man's life, any person really, surrounded by white supremacy participation trophies, people cannot be objective. The writing is literally on the walls. The writing and Jefferson Davis's glamour shot. So let's hope that this time around, Tim Gilbert actually gets a better chance at a fair trial. If the next courthouse has KKK memorabilia inside, yeah, they're going to be doing this all over again. Finally, there's this story out of Richmond because it's keeping with the Confederate relic theme. Starting today, the last remnant of the Robert E. Lee statue that stood in Richmond for over a century is being removed. Workers started taking away the pedestal the bronze statue stood on and searching for a 134-year-old time capsule that is reportedly under the statue. Sure, they didn't find it in that courthouse in Tennessee. It's always fun when removing monuments to the Confederacy comes with a scavenger hunt, right? Those construction workers, they get to feel like Indiana Jones without having to risk their lives, fight Nazis, or deal with pits of snakes. Everybody wins, except for the Confederacy. History repeating itself. The workers will replace the original time capsule with a new one that contains items reflective of current events, including an expired vial of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, a Black Lives Matter sticker, and a photograph of a black ballerina with her fist raised near the Lee statue during last summer's protests in Richmond. From Confederate generals to social justice, once again, everyone wins. Except people who consider 1865 the good old days. Still ahead on Open Mic, a redrawing of congressional district maps in Maryland and what that means for the state. I'm diving into gerrymandering in tonight's Mic Drop. And listen, I want to hear any stories that you think we should be covering around D.C., Maryland, and Virginia on Open Mic. Send those to me. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Adam Longo, Twitter at Adam Longo TV. I'm even on TikTok sometimes at Longo AF, or you can email me, alongo, at wsa9.com.